What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money Up Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Legends set review on WWE Elite Series Legends Series 21. Why the hell did I say series twice? But today, man, we are back with it. And again, in my Toy Hunt video, I did describe that I do not have the regular edition under the giant. This, For some reason, this happens all the time. When I find the Legends figures, I always find the Chase instead of the regular version, which I guess is a blessing and a curse because I don't have it to put in front of you here. But I do have the Red Red Trunks Andre. So we do have Red Trunks Andre in there. WrestleMania 2 shirt looking pretty damn good. He's massive in there, man. It looks like he's about to major chip hazard his way out of the box. But Andre's looking pretty good. Excited for the Andre to get a new Andre in here and whatnot. We also have this very unique version of Hulk Hogan right here. Very clean attire. You guys know I like white gear. Love this packaging too, man. This packaging is next level. It's it's definitely my favorite Legends packaging. I just love the mix of like the early days of Mattel WWE and then now like a modern edge to it. It has the windows in there. It's just clean. I like that. Got the cape in there. Looks pretty good. We also have our Jimmy Hart figure. Mouth of the South looking damn good. Like all the airbrush detail going on. I love a good suited figure that poses around nice. And I love Jimmy Hart. Who doesn't love a good Jimmy Hart? So we do have Jimmy Hart here. And the last figure in our set is the Iron Sheik. And I know he's excited to have that bastard Hulk Hogan in that set with him. But I'm really digging the entrance coat and everything. Reminds me a lot of the Retro Fest, but we are of course going to crack all of these guys out of their packaging. Take a look at them and everything like that, man. Super excited for Legend Series 21 and really excited for Legend Series 22. Can't wait to get all of those guys in here. Captain Lou and all that. So this should be fun, man. Let's shut the hell up. Crack Legend Series 21 out of their packaging. Find out what they're all about and see if they are indeed worth a damn. All right, man, so here's Legend Series 21 out of the packaging. Iron Sheik, Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Hart, and Andre the Giant looking pretty damn good. Again, yellow figure is the regular version. I have the chase version here in red, but I guess we're going to go left to right and just kind of dive into each figure individually and discuss it and talk about it and all those different things, man. So with that being said, let's dive into the Iron Sheik, and then we'll get going. So one thing I love about this Iron Sheik is the cloth goods right here, man. I mean, you do have the headpiece, which is just this rubber mold that we have seen before, so it does have the tie around there and it has a nice pattern on it. It also fits the figure well so that's good. I do like this and I'm glad to have it. But I think the money is made on this robe right here. This entrance robe is ridiculous. This gold slash brown color and then you have the actual like bright glitter gold going around. Fits the figure really nice and I'm pretty sure we saw this exact thing in the RetroFest figure if I'm not mistaken. But I think I put mine on a Rollins and then I cut the sleeves and I effed it up and then I had to throw it in the trash. So I'm a damn failure. And I'd like to put this on another figure. Maybe a Rollins, maybe Maybe somebody else, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it on Sheik for now, but... When you remove his jacket here, you do get the smaller arms here, but I do like this torso for, for Iron Sheik, and I love Iron Sheik, man. I like this head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt before. Looks really clean. I like the old man abs going on, looking great. I like the camel and the red tights going on, going all the way around. Him and Andre look like they could be a tag team in this set, but I like this. I do believe he is on ball joints. I think that's the first time we've ever seen an Iron Sheik on ball joints. He can kick forward really nicely and everything like that, man, so I do believe he's on ball joints. So That's like a game changer, I think. So that is nice to see, and I really love his boots here. I don't know, I guess you would call these elf-style boots, right? You have the little hooks on the end here, you have the red, and then on the inside you have that gray color with the white laces. Dude, that is a clean-looking boot. I love these boots. Very clean, he's got the socks coming up above. Like, dude, I love Iron Sheik, man. Rest in peace to the legend. Outside of his entrance stuff, he does have a pair of interchangeable mic-holding hands. He comes with the pointer fingers, and these look different than the regular ones, man. These don't look like the Usos mold, but I guess they are, but, you know, he comes with two interchangeable pointing fingers you know, to, of course, point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. Wait a minute. What is this? I got two of the same side? Well, damn, Brad. I got the same side for my finger pointing hands. Hate to see it. And then he does come with his Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking style entrance hands. And I guess you can call them bish slapping hands too. So these are good hands to come with Iron Sheik for his entrance and camel clutch or whatever you want to do. So next up is our Hulk Hogan figure, man. Really like this new head sculpt we have going. Just a really nice looking head sculpt. Of course, this is a younger Hogan, so he's not missing as much hair. He's got a little bit more on the top right there. A very cool version of Hogan to give us as well, man. Didn't expect them to give us this. But his cape right here is utterly ridiculous. It has like this perfect purple silk going on with the gold over the top. It looks fantastic and it's massive, man. It is absolutely massive. I mean, this man could freaking save Gotham City in this cape. And mine came undone out of the packaging, but I am going to pop the head off right here. Thank God you don't need heat for this crap anymore. Oh, look at that. It untied again. God! So we're going to remove the cape for now. Then you have the white singlet Hogan right here. Dude, it's just a very standout figure. It really stands out. The white knee pads, the white wrist tape, the white singlet, the white boots. Very clean all around. And this figure just 
just stands out to me, man. I would really like to torso swap this to have an all-white Hogan gear. I think that would be cool. You know, pair it with some different figures and stuff. This is going to stand out on the shelf. I, I really can't wait to put it up there with the rest of the Hogans here. But very cool figure, man. I really enjoy it. And he can pose around really nice, man. All the joints are tight. He's just, yeah, I mean, but Hogan, Hogan, they make his, I swear to God, it's like Brock Lesnar. It's like they make his figures in some sort of lab exclusive. They make it exclusive, just off the grid. They do not make every figure like they make these Hulk Hogan figures, man. Swear they don't. I know they'll say, they'll say they do, but I promise they don't. It's ridiculous. But his other accessories are interchangeable mic holding hands. You do get a pair of those guys. And then, of course, you do get a pair of fists to, again, just beat the hell out of people. So getting into Jimmy Hart, man, he does come with his glasses, which are synonymous with Jimmy Hart. I really like this head sculpt. I do believe this is a brand new head sculpt. I feel like every other head sculpt we've ever had of Jimmy, he's yelling. And if this isn't a new head sculpt, maybe it's the Hall of Fame. But I could have swore the Hall of Fame was also yelling. And that includes one of the figures that I sold off to start my arena. And the Build-A-Figure... I think this is our fourth Jimmy Hart, or is it our third? Nonetheless, the Builder figure I turned into myself because I used the pink suit, and then now I have this one, so I'm all behind on my Jimmy Hart figures. But the glasses do fit the figure really well. I'm gonna keep that that. Uh, you know what? For your sake, there he is. I mean, he looks. Look at the handsome guy right there. Looking pretty handsome right there, Jimmy Hart. I like it. Put the glasses back on there. You know what I'm saying? Put those. Yeah, put that back on, Brad. His other accessory does include his megaphone. It says Hulkaphone right there, and that is pretty damn cool. I like that. It's nice sculpt on this. I don't believe this is a new mold or anything to my knowledge but you do have the red megaphone right there that says Hulkaphone and you know he's in there yelling at people and stuff. And then his last accessories do include a pair of mic holding hands and then he also comes with a pair of pointer finger hands to point at people with a megaphone and tell them to shut the hell up. So his is a much louder shut the hell up. But going down to the rest of the figure you do have the red colored shirt under there. He's got the tie with the stars on it. Very cool man. I bet his closet is full of just immaculate jackets and pants and ties and megaphones of old airbrushed in Entities. I mean, I'm sure that WWE has a lot in their big old storage facility, right? But I'm sure he has a ton that, you know, they didn't get. But he's got WCW over there. Got Hulk going down the side, all the stars just airbrushed on here, what they would be. He's got the uh, stomach wrap or whatever, the little, uh, I don't even know what the hell that's called. It's like a belt, sort of. And then you got him on the side there yelling into the microphone, probably telling people to shut the hell up. He's got the stars on there. He's got the red going throughout. I really like this orange color. It's coming off a lot more yellow on camera. But on the back, he does have the portrait of Hulk Hogan there with the bandana. Very clean, man. Whoever did the airbrushing on the original shirt, jacket, and pants did a phenomenal job. WCW on the butt right there for the back of the jacket. And then he does have Hulkster on either leg right here. These are the old school Build-A-Figure style legs. I don't think he comes apart. Does he come apart? No, he does not. So don't try anything to make a different Build-A-Figure. Would have been cool to have some like yellow pants or something, but he does have Hulkster going down on the side with the nice graphics. Then he does have his red kicks in there. Very cool figure, man. And this the old build figure like this, he, he's so poseable. I mean, he could come into like, oh my god. Can you imagine a guy wrestling in a suit like this just coming out and beating the hell out of people? Especially with these double-jointed arms, man. Very buttery smooth figure. I like this Jimmy Hart a lot, man. I've always loved Jimmy Hart. I, I just think he's awesome. Very just fun guy to watch throughout the years. And getting into the Chase Andre the Giant, he does have this massive WrestleMania 2 shirt. Now, I thought originally when we saw this WrestleMania 2 shirt back at the Mattel Design Center for WrestleMania, which feels like yesterday, but it's almost a year ago now. I mean, we're coming up on like eight months or nine months ago. When we first saw the shirt on display there, I thought it was going to be King Kong Bundy or something like that. But it is an Andre the Giant, which I do like, man. I think this looks awesome. Graphic looks good. It is a Velcro shirt. Hopefully it doesn't stain or anything, but we are going to remove this shirt so we can and take a look at the giant, pun intended, torso here on this Andre the Giant. I like this head sculpt as well. Very clean going on. Got the got the nice teeth smile in there. I don't know about nice. Double jointed arms in there. Very clean. Giant man. Very buttery smooth again. Just can pose around with the best of them. I'd really like to see some dude. Somebody should do like a classic fed that does like 80s and 90s wrestling. Or like, you know, like just do 70s, 80s only would be really cool. Introduce your own custom characters. But you do have this massive torso here. We have the red trunks, of course, where our Chase Andre, and then he does have the big old legs coming on in here. Very quality, not pinless, which I do enjoy. I do believe he's on ball joints. Yes, he is. And then he does have the nice crimson, white, and red boots going on, which are very tall and very nice. Love to see those. Very quality figure. I mean, kind of plain Jane when you take the, the clothes off, but I do enjoy the Andre figure, man. He poses around really nice, but outside of the t-shirt, you do get the regular mold choke slamming hands. You have the signature Andre the Giant posing hands, or pre-choke slam style kind of hands, like the reaching out, which are bigger 
smoother than normal hands, which I really like. And then you have the giant interchangeable fists to beat the hell out of people. And I like to use these on my Brock Lesnar or Braun Strowman figures. They really like bring them together and they, they fit well. They scale really well because those guys have massive hands. So those are, that's a good thing to know. All right, man, it is come time. Now that we've reviewed these figures, I want to rank these figures from worst to best or my personal favorite from least favorite to personal favorite in terms of all of my criteria. Of course, excitement level for the figure, feel in hand, detail, accuracy, execution of details, likeness to the character on television, posability, feel in hand, all those different things come into account, of course. And just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it's not good and doesn't have any redeeming qualities. And just because a figure is number one doesn't mean that it's perfect and without any faults whatsoever. So that being said, let's dive into my ranking here. This is going to be pretty difficult, but it may not be. Oof, this is going to be difficult, I think. All right, man, here we go. Bottom of the barrel, I'm going with the Andre the Giant. Nothing against the Giant here. I like Andre the Giant. I like the shirt. And, you know, I like that it's different. It's not just a plain singlet. However, I would say that it's just, I don't know. It just, uh, I think that the Ultimate Edition is my definitive Giant. So it's going to be really hard to, like, kind of separate that. And I don't know. When I think of Andre, I don't think of him here in red trunks. And it's not that this is a bad figure. It's just the one that I'd probably not like to have. I think that the Elite 100 in the, you know, in the casual gear and then you have the singlet gear, that pretty much wraps it up for me in terms of Andre. I don't really need a different style Andre, even though I think it is a cool figure. Up next, we do have Jimmy Hart. Really like the Jimmy Hart, man. I've always loved Jimmy Hart. As a kid, I loved Jimmy Hart, even though, you know, I didn't grow up watching Jimmy Hart, but I have gone back and watched Jimmy Hart, you know, playing video games and, you know, I've seen documentaries and I've gone back and watched him and I've, you know, been around the character, things of that nature, and I've always enjoyed him. Mouth of the South, man, that's good stuff right there. And I like that figure. A lot of cool details, poses around nice, love it. Now we're coming down to number two and number one, and this is actually kind of difficult because I really love the Iron Sheik, man. I, I, I love the Iron Sheik. I love the Iron Sheik. I think he's fantastic, but that Hogan figure is something else. Oh, man. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Iron Sheik at number two and Hulk Hogan at number one, man. That Hulk Hogan figure is just built different. I don't really know how to describe it. It just feels ridiculous in hand. It's kind of like the Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar. Not to mention you get this sick-ass cape in there that is just glowing. You have the white gear in there, and I love Iron Sheik, man. Like I said, I love Iron Sheik, but I think it's very similar to the Retro Fest. I do like the addition of the double-jointed arms, and he poses around better, and he's got the really cool entrance gear as well, but I think the Hulk Hogan clears in this instance. It's a different take and stuff, so I'm going to go with this as my ranking. But I really enjoyed Legend Series 21. I like these figures. They pose around really well. Every single figure in the set feels really good in the hand and can pose around well. So if you guys like figures like that and you can relate to these legends or you want these figures in your collection, definitely would grab it. I think that these are excellent and you should grab these. But nonetheless, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up my Legends 21 review. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate every single one of those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my Legends review for Series 21, man. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.